Hello Creative Pro friends, I'm Kara Plichinich and today we're going to take a look at some super cool and quite clever generative fill actions for Photoshop created by our friend Rob DeWinter for issue 30 of Creative Pro Magazine. Creative Pro members can download these actions and more awesome stuff for free from creativepro.com. So once you download the actions and unzip the file, You'll see the .atn file here, and getting it into Photoshop is as easy as just double-clicking on it. If somehow that doesn't work, you can always open your Actions panel from the Window menu by choosing Window, Actions, and from the Panel menu, choose Load Actions and then navigate to that ATN file. So here we are in the Actions panel. We can see a number of different actions. Here we have one that generates a watercolor painting, and it sounds like, oh, this is just a, like another filter, but <laughs> it is so much better than that. And so to play this action, we can just come down here and click the play button. And this is actually utilizing some generative fill prompts. So when it finishes, that means that we're gonna have three different variations to choose from in our properties panel. Aren't these amazing? This is like way different than what you would get with a filter. So let me actually trash that and let's go back to our actions panel. So sometimes you might see the actions panel looking like this in button mode. So here in button mode, all you have to do to run the action is click on it. And here we're getting three additional effects. And we could regenerate this again by just hitting generate. So that's pretty cool. But what's really neat is that we can actually edit these actions and edit the intensity in a way. So to do that, we want to be not in button mode, but in regular mode. And then if we twirl open the watercolor painting action, we see here that one of the steps is to fill. And right now it's set to fill with an opacity of 100%. But we can get wildly, wildly different results by changing this. And in order to do that, we need to enable a dialog box here. So that is this fill command right here. So just to the left of that, there is a little well a little socket, and if we click on there, that is going to give us a dialog box when we run this action. So I've got the watercolor painting action selected. I'll go ahead and hit play. And this time it starts running and then it stops and asks us what we want for this fill opacity. So instead of 100%, I'm gonna say 50%, and then I'll click OK. And it's gonna run everything else just the same, but by clicking in that little well, we told Photoshop to ask for our input on that step. So we could input a different value than 100%. Look at that. So with a value of 50%, we're getting a watercolor painting, but the reference of the image is having a much smaller role in the final product. So we can see that there's still some sort of flower here, <laughs> but it's very, very loose. And this one is super loose. So it can be a really fun way to experiment with these things. So maybe we'll go back to that one more time and run it once again, but this time let's pick something like 75%. So the higher the percentage, the more impact the actual image is going to have. So now we're getting a, a flower, the same kind of flower, but it's a little more unstructured. So if we decide we like one of these and we want to reset the action how it was so it doesn't keep stopping, we can just uncheck that dialog box from that step right there and we'll just close up that action. Let's try it on the same image here. We can turn this into an oil painting, for example. Again, this is not a filter. It is using generative fill 
to generate this image as an oil painting. We have a couple of different versions. So lots of fun stuff you can do there. There is a, another option for impressionist painting. And I'm running that on this image. And when I was testing it, I got really fantastic results. Isn't that amazing? So this is just making use of generative fill, but it's structured in a easy to edit way in the actions panel. So same thing, here is a fill. So if you wanted to loosen the reference, let's go back and we'll click to enable the dialogue here. And then when we play it, let's try 75% here again. So that fill opacity almost becomes like an intensity slider. So now we're getting even more loosely based rendering. Oh, I just love it. That is amazing. So as with all things generative fill, the outcomes can vary widely depending on your image and how the AI algorithms are feeling that day. So you just kind of have to know that it's a process and it iterates over time. Are those actions great or what? To learn more about Creative Pro membership and all the goodies that come with it, head to creativepro.com. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy Photoshopping. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.